Everything at DreamHack Summer, we're here after what was a fairly oh, smooth. I noticed that though, maybe not that smooth, but fairly quick. <laughs> did you drop it? Hmm? Did you go for the yawn? Yeah, I did. <laughs> it worked. It was a fairly quick tool, was what I was, uh, what I was saying. Uh, Ninjas in Pajamas, they were able to knock out a basically unknown. And uh, there's now only three teams remaining where four teams started the day. And after the next series, we're going to lose one more. And then there's only two left to join the other two tomorrow. But that game, Lumi, what did you think? What caused basically Unknown's downfall? All right. Okay, honestly speaking, it was so long that it was my downfall. Because <laughs> I watched half of it, and then I walked around a bit and watched the other half. All right, so what I saw from the game was Jonas and Fan became a monster. Basically, he was so big that they couldn't actually fight him. And then they had these two other mobile cores. They had Puck and they had Storm Spear. And you, you can't focus them either because they'll just kite you all day. So it's kind of like this situation where when, uh, when Navi went up against Ninjas and Pajamas, Jonas and Fan got nothing. They shut him down completely. And all of a sudden, the game, it felt like so much easier because he is like their, their impact player. He's, he's the guy that you know, gets stuff done, basically. Yeah. So. He just, he, he was like 7-1 and just like, just completely wrecking. He had all the items he wanted, he had butterfly, everything, so. <laughs> Slightly distracted here, sorry. Uh, so, for me, actually, at some point, I mean, obviously Ninjas and Pajamas was doing really well uh, in the early game and in the mid game, and at some point I thought, well, you know, well, they're, they're gonna probably win. But then, Witch Doctor got Nagadims, and it's like, something could potentially happen. And all the fights that happened from that point onward, both Bane and Witch Doctor, or at least one of the two, died before anything else happened. Yeah. They didn't even get there. Like, I thought they could still win because we talked about it beforehand. You need that one hero that you can always make a comeback with. And Witch Doctor with an Aghanims potentially is one of those types uh, of heroes. When you have these gap closer heroes like Storm Spirit and Pulse. It's difficult, but yeah. it's, not, it's not impossible. We've seen Storm Manon. It's Storm Manon as well. He's got them sick Witch Doctor ultis in the past. Yes, he like has. Lumi, he's like, he's a ninja. He like hides in the bushes like you never expect him. All of a sudden there's this purple stuff going everywhere and everyone's... Just, I mean, if he always hides in the bushes, is it still unexpected? At it, some point, you'd be hmm. like, ah, he's in the bushes. Maybe that's what? why he didn't do it this game. Oh. But it didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> the mind games are too deep. <laughs> what, I, what I've noticed from both of these games, and I expect to continue, because Nip is going to be playing next, is that the heroes that Era play has an immediate early game impact. Yep. Queen of Pain, Storm. But the hero never fade away. Yeah, like in true. game one, if the game goes long enough, refresh or double Queen of Pain ultimate is no joke. And obviously the gap closing aspect of a storm to immediately kill one of the supports, essentially forcing a 4v5 fight. Yeah. You have things like Hex, Orchids, that's a big part of it as well. Um, also, I, I do want to say that Bloodstone giving the team a, a ton of healing because the yeah. fight dragged out quite a bit. Yeah, there was a, one fight in mid actually where he like instantly respawned, healed his whole team and then just TP'd back yeah. in the push and get the rest. So. Very solid. Uh, there were quite a few fights. Uh, one stood out to Shane, so it's time for Shane Analytics. Welcome to Shane Analytics. Okay, so the fight I've chosen is the one in top lane, where they basically kite the crap out of. Or so we have. <laughs> Okay, so if you can see here, we have uh, our producer Martin's head kind of spinning around. He looks beautiful. Now, limp on his puck in this team fight. He just instantly... No, you, you can't... <laughs> you're just drawing more of his face. <laughs> now, here's this bush. Look, this is the bush. Martin, where's the bush? There it is. <laughs> <laughs> he was in his bush doing his... Okay. Look at here. This is beautiful. The way he kites here. Like, Arise has to commit. You're making this very difficult for me. <laughs> Arise has to commit, but he, he can't actually catch anyone, and they can't focus down Jonas and Fan at all. I don't know, and it's such a difficult team fight. They keep trying to, but they're just so mobile, and Jonas is just too tanky at this stage to do anything. Yeah, they, they want to fight, they just yeah. don't find the, the right opening, so... Bit of a bit of a sad spell there. Mm. So, um, we actually do not have a player to talk to, but... We do have ladies in pajamas, a manager to talk to, so it's time for the winner's interview.
Yeah, welcome indeed to the couch, Isola. Thank you. So for me, I'm actually really curious, what is the best part about being the manager of the Dota team of Ninjas in Pajamas? To hang out with uh, five extremely good Dota players and uh, like being a part of what they're doing every day. Did they tell you to say that? No. I'm really, <laughs> that's really true. Well, that's, that's glad. I, I love the game. I love the game. So I have to do something to like be. You, you only manage the Dota 2 team? Or? Yes. Full time job? Yeah, we can say that. <laughs> Babysitter? Babysitter. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Who, who's the diva? Who's the guy on the team that's like... Needs most care. I need my orange juice at 18 degrees Celsius or nothing else. Like, who, who's that guy? My M&Ms can only be red. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, we don't have that. We have a perfect team. Oh, my no. God. Come on, give us the dirt. There must be one. I, I have a follow-up question to Shivers. What's the worst part of being a manager? <laughs> oh, the late nights. Late nights, Late okay. night work. So, I mean, nip games tend to drag out quite a bit. Yes, yes. So we possibly have four more hours <laughs> to go, correct? <laughs> 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 We're going to be at all night together. Yeah. It's like, watch Dota, that. that's what we do. You guys have been here since like 9 a.m. or something? Yes, or 9 a.m. Why were you here at 9 a.m.? We played uh, eSport SM. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, I knew that. I knew yes. that. You're right. Yes. Yeah, you have also been playing since 9 a.m. Yes, right? yes. We've been here and practiced and play. Science I think we, we saw a bit of the game when uh, Ira might have made a bit of a malfunction. Nah, I, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think that was yeah, the tiredness. Yeah. yeah, yeah, of course. We're yeah. tired. We're yeah. tired. We're really tired. So, but we do our best to like, uh, yeah, keep up. Okay, so earlier we we're kind of discussing um, if playing in front of a home crowd means a lot to the players, and we really couldn't come up with a proper response as we don't know. No, as playing uh, playing against the home crowd is always better. Always the best thing to do. Like we get all the fans to share for us, mm -hmm. and uh, all all players and when we like walk here everyone's coming up to us and they're like telling us how much they like us and how much they support us it really means a lot for the players here's the thing though if you win this best of three tomorrow you might get alliance they will get alliance right no they would get virtus pro navi oh, is facing up against alliance okay but say they say they got alliance right who do you think has the home crowd advantage between alliance and nip oh uh dream mac is always uh, near simpiamas event yeah why, why? You sound so confident. Because uh, we have uh, both a really good construct team. and That uh, helps a lot, actually. Yeah. OK, I'll, I'll give him that one, actually. Yeah. So, so what's, uh, what's a day in the life of Isola look like when you're oh, not at an event? Yeah, OK. I uh, uh, have two kids. OK. So I just have a newborn kid that is two months. Congratulations. Thank you. And uh, so I'm pretty much being a dad full time as well. And uh, trying to like keep up like between Dad life and uh, manager life, like it's pretty much almost the same sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> babysitter at home, babysitter at your job. Is, would you say that uh, managing Nip has given you practice? Uh, <laughs> no, it's the other way around. Okay, okay. I have a four year old kid as well, so. Oh. so. <laughs> that helps. Um, we actually have a replay uh, for you to look at, or at least Shane does. And uh, well, we can see what he has to say about that. <laughs> yeah, he told me a little bit. Okay, so I was kind of hope, like, I thought it would be Ira. And we're about to watch Ira kind of just kill himself because he tried to use Hex. So I asked the guys outside and he was like, oops. You have to do something to, uh, sh to keep, uh, what, how, how do you say it? Uh, the... But you have to give them a chance. Yes. Yes. Give them, yeah, that's, that's exactly, that's, that's exactly keep it what I, the words I was looking for. Yeah. Nice. You have to give them a chance. I was just going to ask him, you know, like after something like that happens, how does he feel? Like, did you get any reaction from him after the game? Did he say like... No, it's like, uh, fucked up. Yeah. Shit happens. Like, he do, he do, he's not a kind of player that will, you know, will dwell on him for the rest of the game or that kind of stuff. He can move on. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's just like nothing, nothing big. because he has ages, so it's just... Yeah, yeah, I know. He just came back. How big of a role do you play in, in the team dynamic after, for example, you know, the team has just suffered a major loss, maybe? What, what yes. do you do as a, as a manager? How do you oh, deal with I, that? I, I try to share them up as much as I can. Like, How? Like, yes, say positive things to them. Like, say uh, they're the best thing. Is there, there no, like, them. chocolate bar that someone likes? And you, <laughs> yeah. she even yeah, knows we what this We have the nip. Of course, we have the nip chocolate bar that we ah. are always, like, here. Smooth. <laughs> smooth. More, sugar for, more sugar for you. Like, it's good. <laughs> Pretty solid. So uh, they're going to play again. They're going to go yes. up against Oh, yeah. A Hope they don't fall asleep at a stage. Yeah, like, uh, drink a lot of... Yeah, they got some, they're getting some food at the moment. Yes, yes. How do you think they'll do? 
Like, do you have full oh, confidence? We, uh, Burden United is like our yes. nemesis after Empire, so we okay. Why? Like, I Why? don't know. I, don't, I have no idea. They're, they're really playing some uh, special games against us always all the time. It's like because we like each other, I think. Okay, so it should be an interesting match. Yes, I hope so. Well, we can take a quick look at the brackets uh, yes. before we uh, we actually uh, see that game. See how the previous match, of course, had an impact on the brackets. And uh, we see it here. Basically, Unknown has uh, disappeared, basically. Sad times. Yeah. Sad times. They are... This is probably the last time we'll ever see their name on anything. Yes. They may come back someday. I'm thinking that if they do, they probably will have a different name. I yeah. will hope they do, because the yeah. BUs confuse me. Yeah, there are so many BUs. There yes. need, need to be rules that you can only have the same, like... We can have a yeah. Why is there no, like, RL or something, you know? Completely different. No, RL. Shivers Relax. Boys. I was trying to think. I was like... RL is like... SP, Shivers Boys. <laughs> that could work. Not Great sure. team, man. <laughs> you can be their manager. He can give you some <laughs> tips. I think, I mean, I, I'm not that... Good for babysitting. No. And my patience is not that big. So, I have self knowledge. I, you know, I know my limits. It's fine. Uh, but yeah, we are going to go into a quick break because, as, as we just heard, the players are still eating. So, uh, we'll be back uh, once they're done and once they're ready to go and start the next series, which is, of course, going to be a Burden United taking on Ninjas in Pajamas. Thank you for taking the time to talk to us, Isola. Thanks, thanks, thanks and, uh, for having me. And good luck to your team, of thanks. course, and to yourself. Thank you.